What's up guys, I'm Pause Build, and today I'm going to show you how to build a rainforest habitat for the Western Lowland Gorillas on Planet Zoo Console Edition. Thank you to Frontier Developments for sponsoring this video. There are a number of habitat gates to choose from, but for this build we're going to be using the wooden habitat gate. Then you can select your barrier, and this needs to be the right resistance grade to match your animal's needs. For the gorillas, the resistance grade is 3, so these wooden logs will be absolutely fine. You can adjust the length of your barriers, you can add windows, and you can even make your barriers climb proof in the settings and we're definitely going to need these to be climb proof. I've then built out the habitat barriers and I've raised them up to be 5 meters tall because the gorillas need the barriers to be at least 5 meters or they might escape. And then I've added some windows so our guests can actually see them. Now the barriers were in place I grabbed our gorillas from the quarantine building and moved them into the habitat. And don't they look so cute? Then I decided I would make my own custom barriers instead of using the pre-made barriers in the game. So I changed my barriers to null barriers, which basically means they're not there. And then I created two separate wall pieces, one window piece and one solid wall piece. And I decorated them in a way that I think would still look cool if we copied and pasted it a number of times. On the solid wall pieces, I wanted to make sure we had some canopies so our guests could have a bit of shade and also leave space to put an education board later to teach the guests about the animals. And on the window pieces, I wanted to make sure I put some glass in, otherwise our gorillas would just walk straight through. <laughs> then I copied and pasted our designs to create a finished barrier. And then I immediately remembered that the wall was supposed to be 5 meters high, not 4 meters, so I added a 1 meter strip around the whole thing. Now on the animals terrain tab, I could see that they were severely lacking hard shelter and the right terrain type. So I clicked on the terrain distribution. This takes you straight into the terrain tool so you can edit the terrain to be in the green zones wherever your animals needs are. For the hard shelter, I went into the habitat tab and filtered by the Western Lowland Gorilla to find the types of shelter that were appropriate to it. And then I selected one of Frontier's beautiful prefabs to be a small outdoor shelter for them because I decided I wanted to build my own custom shelter as their main bedding area. I did this by adding thatch roof pieces to create a shelter on the right hand side of the habitat that I then later joined up with a path so that the guests could see them while they're in their bedding area. Then with the gorillas already filtered, I went into the habitat tab again and added as much enrichment as I thought the gorillas would want. There's so many options for them and I probably went overboard on how much I gave them. I also decided to create my own water area for them rather than use the water pipe because I just think it's quite cool. And I did this with the terrain tools to push into the ground to create a kind of pond and then using the water tools to fill it in. And once I'd made a massive mess of the terrain editing I did before, I did go back and edit the terrain to put some grass in which they wanted. And then because I'd made my own custom water source, I added in a water pump to keep the water clean and stop our gorillas from getting sick. And then I added a feeding platform in case all of the gorillas' food couldn't be filled into their enrichment items. And I decided I wouldn't build my own custom climbing enrichment, even though you can with a number of pieces in the habitat tab. I instead used one of Frontier's prefab climbing enrichment items and then set about adding a load of bedding to all of our shelter areas. Then I clicked the ideal plant range for our gorillas and it automatically filtered the correct rocks and plants that can be used in the environment that the gorilla lives in. And I started my favourite part which is decorating the habitat with plants and rocks. Cue montage! Then I added some education to teach our guests about our animals and I filled in our little planters out the front. And there we have it, a complete rainforest habitat for the Western Lowland Gorilla. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a like and also consider watching some of the other Planet Zoo content on my channel. I have a number of beginner-friendly Planet Zoo franchise Whoa. mode series already on the channel where we build habitats just like this. And if any of this has been interesting to you, don't forget to check out Planet Zoo Console Edition. The link's in the description. And thank you again to Frontier Developments for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.